I'm here to talk about working with a large spreadsheet. In this example, it would be any worksheet here. Um, this has a lot of data. There's only about 400 rows in here. You might be working with one with thousands someday or hundreds of columns. Uh, a typical Excel spreadsheet is about a thousand columns wide and about a million rows deep. So if you want to get to the bottom here, you hit the end, the bottom arrow. This is working with the PC environment. With a Mac, it's different. Um, Control Home takes you back to cell A1. If you want to go down one or two rows or columns, just hit the right arrow keys, as I'm doing right now. Next thing here, if you want to go down a screen or two, hit the page down. Page up takes you up a full screen. So that is a quick way to get around there. You could use the roller and scroll down, scroll up, but when you're getting to some large locations here, but let's say you want to get someplace here, you could click inside the cell address here, and let's say I want to get into F400. I literally type it in, press the Enter key. It brings me down there. Other thing too, if you want to get to the very bottom, you hit, as I said, end down arrow key. However, if you've got blank rows in the middle, and I'm just going to do this as a quick example. I'm just going to insert a blank row here. I'll delete it in a minute. If I hit end down arrow, it takes you to the last cell in that range above a blank one. If you're doing a chart or something in here, have a tight grid. Do not have blank cells in the middle. Uh, like in this here, inspection dates here, and down arrow, and down arrow. You can hit the page down. That might be quicker because that one does not have what I would say data because it might not have been inspected. We're going to be doing payroll in a few minutes with this. That will be in a separate video. Next thing here, when you're hitting the page down, let's say you want to see the top row at all times. That would be called freezing the panes. We click on the tab called View. It says Freeze Panes. It gives you three choices here. Freeze Panes will keep everything visible to the left and the right. But if I say Freeze Top Row, I hit the page down. I always have Row 1. I'm going to unfreeze this, defrost the thing. And then I'll say on freeze panes. You could also have, like if I'm over here, arbitrarily in here, if I click on freeze panes and I say freeze panes, it's always going to show the rows above and the columns to the left. This can be good if you need to see a name or a company name. But if you have that in here, very easy. You click on the view tab or stay in there, freeze panes. On freeze panes and in this case here I would want to always have just the first row in here top row so this is working with the large spreadsheet and that end will work with the right arrow and left arrow and when I say do this you hit it and very quickly tap it you can't wait 10 minutes or even a split second you can also, you have one other choice here. Um, I could click up there. You could also do Control G. And then I could just go into here and type in F200. It brings me there. And if I did a Control Home, as I did in this last example, it will bring me into cell A2 because I froze the very top row. Other thing, too, I will show this. I'm now in cell like 1,048,000 in here. And you could hit the page up for about 20 minutes and get there. Or if you're down here, I'm in cell XFD. That's a huge number here. There's two ways of doing it. Control Home or click inside here. Type in A2. Brings you back. So that way you can navigate that huge spreadsheet.